Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at a strange weather phenomena out of Baker City, Oregon. Stick around for that video. That is quite baffling. Also, I have a brand new picture slideshow I put together. New sky phenomena sent in from all around the world. Also, a quick look at the Schumann Resonance. Big spike in the Schumann yesterday. And source unknown. Don't know exactly what caused the, the big spike in the Schumann, but it was definitely there. Also in this video, we're going to take a look at a daytime meteor shower that we're apparently currently in. It's called the Aritids. Here is a picture that I shared with you guys back around the 1st of June of what looks like a long duration meteor going through the sky. This was taken by Carolyn out of Tennessee. I've also got footage from Germany of what looks like a long duration meteor going through the sky. Picture sent in by Rob. There's a close up of the meteor. Apparently, we're in a meteor shower that could produce daytime meteors that look like this, what you're about to see here. This is a video I did a few years ago of a daytime meteor that went over Mexico, and it was quite stunning. You can see it's slow moving, got a long tail, and even for being in broad daylight, had a very, very bright head, running almost parallel with the surface of the Earth. Really cool. I've never seen one personally, but I guess right now we have a chance to see one. Daylight meteors, the Aritids, and the reason they're called the Aritids is because they originate from the constellation Aries. But the source is basically unknown. I I've never heard of this, to be quite honest with you. Daylight meteor shower. The Aritid meteor shower is the strongest daylight shower of the year. It lasts from late May until early July, and it peaks on June the 7th. Aritid meteors stream out of the constellation of Aries. Their source, unknown. Although, some astronomers suspect they come from sun-grazing asteroid uh, Icarus, or the breakup of a giant comet that went through the inner solar system thousands of years ago. But anyway, you have a chance to see daytime meteors now. you got to get up early in the morning to, to have the best opportunity to see them. Coming out of the constellation of Aries, that would be above the horizon before sunrise. Anytime after that, they're about 30 degrees, or they could potentially be 30 degrees in front of the sun during the daytime. Here's a an artist rendition of a daytime meteor and that's pretty much exactly what the one looks like from Tennessee and Germany. They look very, very similar in nature. So anyway, get up early in the morning between now and, and July and you may catch a daytime fireball. Also in this video, we're going up to Baker City, Oregon, where I received a video of what looks like, and they were calling it an inverted tornado, like an inverted twister. But the longer you look at this thing, and it does, it looks like an upside down tornado. I totally get it. Looks like a, maybe an upside down dust devil at an angle. Usually they're more vertical, but this one's at an angle. But watch what this does here in, in just a few seconds. You're going to see something form down here on the ground. That's a nearly perfect geometrical shape. You're going to see a big rectangle form on the ground. The, the dust or whatever that's going on over here doesn't appear to be moving. If it is, it's, it's moving so slowly, it's not even noticeable. But are you starting to see the shape down here? Usually those dust devils or tornadoes don't have perfect rectangles at the bottom where they connect with the earth. Usually they're from cloud to ground. And at the ground, you can see this one is forming a rectangle for whatever reasons. Quite baffling. Here's a still image of whatever this may be. Definitely looks like a twister, a, a daytime um, funnel cloud or a land spout. But it's got a weird shape at the bottom at the ground. Again, I, I've never seen anything quite like that. It does look kind of stormy. Where it's originating from is the lower deck of those darker clouds there, but behind those clouds, you can see it's partly cloudy and even got blue skies. This is a second video clip of the same phenomena. And again, there's that rectangle, totally obvious. Never seen anything quite like that. Very, very strange. Coming out of Baker City, Oregon, video was sent in by Al. And it definitely does look like an inverted landspout 
or some sort of a, a twister. Very, very strange. Also in this video, we've got a brand new picture slideshow I put together. New sky phenomena sent in from all around the world. Joe from North Little Rock, Arkansas. Get a load of this cloud here. Big old supercell reaching way up into the atmosphere. And then it's got what looks like some sort of a head sitting on top of it. But wait till you see what's on top of that. Look at that. It looks like a disc going down into that cloud. Then a couple of hooks right there. Again, never seen anything quite like that. Look at that thing. I'm going to compare that with something here later on in the video. And you're going to see how this definitely looks like another object that was spotted in the sky in another location. Jason out of Quincy, Massachusetts. Some spaceship looking clouds hovering in the sky above Massachusetts. Here we've got a bizarre radar signature. Yet another one that just does not make sense. I mean, what you're looking at here are, at least to me, the way I interpret those, are Doppler radar sweeps. But normally, they're stationary. They don't go moving across state lines like that. But there they go. Never seen anything like that either. See how they want to stay stationary? They're around Cornwall, and then they just pick up and take off moving. Here we've got a homemade rainbow. Shooting the garden hose up in the air, and it forms a single rainbow. More than likely, there's a double, like Marjorie spotted from Spearfish, South Dakota. And you can see where that one begins and where it ends. Quite spectacular. Again, we're seeing these pretty much on a daily basis. It's like a big portal in the sky. There's where it begins and ends, or begins and ends over here. Either way, phenomenal. Max P. out of Santa Monica, California. Got something unusual up in the sky here that caught his attention. He grabbed a photo of it. Don't know what to make of that. Looks like it's got straight lines and, and geometrical shapes that don't look like random clouds. Mike K. out of Springfield, Vermont. Noticed this very dark independent circle up in the sky. That again didn't fit in with the rest of his neighbors. New Mexico, Lisa V. Picture of the strawberry moon that we just had recently. Also, some strawberry-colored clouds from out of New Mexico. New Mexico's got some very photogenic skies. Here we've got some lines in the sky above New Mexico, noticed by Lisa, along with a double-decker rainbow with some big beams coming up through the, the rainbow from the horizon. This next segment, we've got what I'm calling a mysterious craft because I don't know what else to call it. Emily was photographing the mountains and the sky from Bryson City, North Carolina. There's some lines there as well, reaching from basically horizon to horizon. When she noticed this, it's like a bright disc in the sky. Look at that. That was off in the distance. Here we're zoomed in a little bit, and then it kind of fades away. You can see what's left of it in some uh, photos here. See right there? You can see a, a little outline of what looks like a, a disc that maybe once was there. There it is again. It's even at a different angle. Like it moved. She was taking these pictures in rapid sequence. And that appeared right there in the photograph. Don't know exactly what that is. But it looks kind of similar to what was at the top of the cloud in Arkansas that was shared with us by Joe. Who noticed that very unique feature on top of the, the supercell thunderstorm. Check this out. They do have similarities. They're not exact per se. But they do have similarities. Check this out. There's the object from North Carolina, and there's what's at the top of that cloud in Arkansas. Not a perfect match, but you know what? Pretty close. Pretty close. They're both flat and disc-shaped. Angel out of Aurora, Colorado. Some very unique clouds spotted in the sky above Colorado. Those are almost a, a light orange color with some gold and, and yellow. Very, very unique. Thomas F. out of Centralia, Washington. Got some colorful clouds up in the proximity of the moon. Video clip here is of the strawberry moon by Jeremy out of Dobson, North Carolina. And I also grabbed a little video myself of the moon early the other morning. Central New York, Brian T. Noticed some ominous looking storm clouds going over central New York. Brian also sent in this photo of the sun with what appears to be something next to it. That could be a reflective anomaly, I'm not sure. Also in the same photograph, there was an unusual flying object 
below the sun. Jason M. out of Jacksonville, North Carolina. Really cool sunset here. Got multiple colors going on. Tammy A. out of Indian Rocks Beach. This is Tropical Storm Cristobal, or at least one aspect of the, the slow-moving storm as it's entering the Gulf of Mexico. J-Man, yet another double-decker rainbow that you can see the beginning and the end. This one's a little lower to the ground. The other one that we saw was reaching quite high up into the sky. Mariano out of Kirksville, Missouri, noticed yet another square in the sky. Mariano sent us the, the photograph of the square from Yuma, Arizona a few weeks ago. Now up in Kirksville, Missouri, yet another square in the sky. Great observation. United Kingdom, Neil B. noticed a rectangle in the sky. I mean, what are the odds? There it is in a slightly uh, different format. I tried to adjust the lighting and color a little bit to bring out features of this rectangle that looks totally out of place. Here it is in an in inverted format. And there's definitely a rectangle cloud in the sky. Mang out of the Philippines. Notice what looked like the Eye of Horus up in the sky. Again, you've got a, another cloud that just does not fit in with the rest of the clouds in the sky. This thing here is perfectly round, and then it's got what looks like the structure of an eye going around the round sphere. Here it is in a slightly different format, and it's actually quite easy to see. You can see why he took the photograph. Next photograph here is out of Queensland, Australia, sent in by Roger S., that's a fog bow. You don't see those very often. They're kind of rare and typically occur along the coastline, like this one here. Here it is in an inverted format. Basically, it's a rainbow with no color, the absence of color. That's known as a fog bow or sometimes a albino rainbow. If you guys are new viewers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on this bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you're current subscribers, simply double check. Make sure you're still subscribed and make sure the bell is still activated. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery and sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.